all right guys you welcome back to my channel once again guys today in this video we will be looking at something that we have treated in our previous video uh, that is the power of uh, google my business how you can verify google my business with the google agency account and i show to you guys you know some steps and i know uh most of you guys might have issue you know getting yourself a website most especially getting yourself a web mail you know everything out there costs money most, most especially if you want to get yourself a website email um it will cost you some money so for the sake of those that um, are not with us yesterday let me try to show you this is the video that uh, you know i am talking about yesterday we did this this video yesterday talking about how you can verify google my business um with google agency account but it requires you to have a website and most especially it requires you to have a web mail so um in this video today we will be looking into how you can get yourself a free website that you can install maybe e-commerce maybe you want to install open uh, op open cards you know or uh, wordpress into it we will be looking at how you can get it and after that we'll be looking into how you can get yourself a free webmail to help you you know sign up your google agency account and make sure you are on the right track to get your google my business verified so guys let us get into uh business it's all right guys uh, you welcome back here once again so over here this is uh a free website you know website uh stuff that's gonna help you to uh host your websites for free and you're not going to pay one dollar to anybody you're not going to pay even a cent to anyone to help you uh you know get your website started so it is called a pro free host as you guys could see it all over here so um first thing you have to do is that you have to create an account for yourself as for me already i have an account but i can just try you know to create a new account to be able to so that you guys can and um, understand how it works so once you create an account you know you have to verify it something like that so let us try to do the uh, verification stuff okay now here you can see the account has been uh, successfully activated and once you click on the activation email that um, was sent to you so it's gonna bring you to this page so um of course you don't need this tab again so you can close this tab and then you can see it over here so uh, over here you're gonna go, go to click on create an account so once you click on the create an account you see it's gonna show you over here that you need to create a website for yourself that can uh, you know uh, be attractive you know so over here you, you have to choose a subdomain for yourself what I, what I mean by subdomain is that you know this is a free website for you so you can't get something like this for yourself you have to get your domain at something.com like this let me try to explain it like for you like this like okay let's say i want to i i, I want to get a free domain for my for myself now and i'm using my nickname as my domain which is um hyperrich and it's a free free domain you know so it's gonna be hyperrich at you know like hyperrich dot hyperrich dot com which means i use this one to to do what to handle my hosting website and this is the hosting name that i'm gonna you gonna understand when we continue um creating the stuff so over here now you, you you will choose the one that you love for yourself if you're trying to create a blog website then you can use the live blog 365.com and um, but if you if you think of the side maybe this is not a blog website this is just you know a normal website that you want to be using for yourself then you can choose this as well then so once you do this make sure you write your own uh web uh your, your your name i mean make sure you write your uh domain name that you want to use so let us try to use this um for example as you can see it says this is available so this is what i mean that is i am hosting this uh ipo reach with this website uh, as well so um then i'm go just gonna try to um, you know to get that so you can choose a custom to maybe if you if you if you have some money to pay you can choose a custom to make for yourself and then do it so then you click on the mark uh button over there so once you've done that the next thing is that uh, we are going to install a wordpress inside this domain we are going to install a wordpress inside the domain to make sure everything is um is a very very very, very nice and very steady so as you can see it's it's um loading over here most of the time if it's loading it won't 
quite be uh done on time then you have to reload the browser you have to refresh the browser in order to make it uh, mark it so i'm gonna try to reload it now so if this is the if it's still doing like this you, you have to wait some little bit like one to two minutes for it to be done you know so um you see now guys it's marked you can um you can see it over here but you can hear the relationship um so guys as you can see now um it's right here now it's marked so which means i can continue uh, you know to um create to continue to, to create this to, to create the stuff so um you can see this it says the username is this then you've got to this is the username as you can see over here then you've got to make sure you copy this username for yourself and make sure you didn't lose it so um let me try to erase this now and and then once that is done then you can click on the manage but before let me copy my username then click on manage so um once you click on manage you know normal website if you if you bought a website for yourself there's something that we call c panel some people know it as control panel it's all the same thing both c panel and control panel so over here now uh i'm going to you know come over here to my c panel as you can see this is the username status is active main domain and then all of the stuff like that that i need to know it is all there you know so then after after you come here then you click on this control panel so um once you click on the control panel as you can see it's gonna redirect me into my uh control panel so let us be ready for it so here, here we are now in the uh control panel as you can see so um once you have the control panel right now you know we have activated our, our email uh, sorry we've activated our domain name um which is ipolich dot uh, uh i don't know how to how to spell that so we have our, our, our domain name at something.com and then as you can see all over here now so if you try to uh play the domain it may, maybe try to type the domain outside this box it might not work yet because um we have we, we haven't set up something that we know as um cms which, which means content management system into it so we have to install either wordpress e-commerce or anything into it to make sure um we we are able to you know to host the website and to be able to design the website so you are going to choose anyone that you know it is perfect for you maybe you, you are good in wordpress in uh, e-commerce in website design or anyone like uh, 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 as well that, that you are good into as for me now i know how to uh, you know undo wordpress because it's the most easiest one for me so this is um you're gonna click on this app installer over here under the software tab so just scroll down to the software tab then you're gonna click on this app installer so um once you click on the application installer so um it's gonna bring you to um where you can install numerous of software like wordpress joomla you know the card php and so many like that it adds so many that you can um install for yourself right here on the uh on the store so as i said before i will be going for the wordpress so then you've got to install the wordpress inside this domain so um once you see it like this you will um see some stuff over here that will choose you you know you have to come over here before you click on any install make sure you scroll down over here and then you click on the admin username set up your username for yourself and set up the admin password for yourself so as you can see right here this is a generated password for me to sign in into my um wordpress dashboard this is this is uh different from the one that we uh choose before maybe you, you are thinking that okay we've already signed in sign in for the um for the uh website that we use the free website that we use and then why are we having another password for the wordpress uh dashboard it is different stuff you know when you're creating a website you have even your control panel or uh, password will be different from the one that you are using before so it is it is it is just a, you know a website stuff that you need to know and make sure you keep all the passwords safe for yourself so for me my own will be i put it and i will be changing this um let me try to hide it i'll be changing this to let's see okay So that is it and that is that is the admin email and uh, something like that so then after i have set it up like this then the next thing for me is to install uh my stuff like that then you can choose a backup for you something like that then um, you can install a team 
direct to it you can select a team and then install it as well but i won't be choosing any team here for now because there is still a place to choose a team for myself when i get into the wordpress dashboard so i'm gonna click on the install over here then um as you can see now it is installing and then i have to wait make sure um it reach on drain make sure you don't leave this tab or uh, when you are installing it so this is it now the software has been installed successfully so um as you can see over here it says um the wordpress has been successfully installed at this website this, this is the domain and this is the dashboard domain the wordpress dashboard domain as you can see it's as wp slash admin that is the um wordpress dashboard domain so let us try to check into our website let us see what we've got of course we won't get something nice we just get a blank stuff like that which means we need um a very beautiful stuff to be able to and we so let us try to log in into our wordpress uh dashboard so this is it it doesn't ask me for password because i click the link directly from my control panel you know so that is why i was brought into uh this space automatically you know so now i've got in my free website and i was brought in here automatically because i i click it from my control panel assuming i just you know open a new browser let me try to do it and i copy this now open a new browser and i type it like this oh sorry i i open a new browser i copy this let's say i copy this open a new browser and i paste it here and uh, i type slash wp admin it's gonna ask me for password you see I'm, I, I i will need the admin administrative password to be able to uh to to log in into the into the um you know into the website domain to be able to uh do something like that you see i will need the password to log in into it but because i click it directly from my uh c panel that's the main reason why it doesn't ask me for any password okay so let us go back into the dashboard so once you head to the dashboard as you can see you have a very ugly website over here for yourself and then you need to make it a beautiful one for yourself so that you can enjoy it so that some all, all those people that visit your website can enjoy it so you need a team for yourself i mean why let, let me tell you something it doesn't matter if, if you if you use a team for yourself or not you can build a website from scratch from yourself you can upload the website you know for some expert if, if you know how to do that you can upload the website you can do that in your control panel you can create a website it may be in javascript and css or html then you upload it directly to your into your control panel of course you have a beautiful website for yourself when you load your domain.com and uh, uh, although or uh, uh, you can come here over here like i want to do it and then uh, you know try to um install a team for yourself and then try to you know edit some stuff and add some pictures into your website to make it very perfectly so um to get yourself a team then you have to go to the appearance as you can see now we are here on team then once you're here on the team then you can choose a team for yourself um you add click on the hard new to choose a team for yourself there are so many uh team that is here on the wordpress you can choose yourself uh you know a better team for yourself to install you know to uh, to make sure it's it's uh complies with whatever you're doing so um over here now i'll be choosing some team as you can see or should i say when we are installing the wordpress i didn't i didn't think we install some team along with it because as you can see the installation was too fast you know it was too fast yes the installation was too fast assuming we install some uh, software with it like i mean some teams with it it will be so slow than that so <clears throat> i'm sorry for that so um here you are now with those team then you're gonna choose the one for yourself as you can see now we have some teams already over here this one is already installed already you can just click on activate uh you know you can activate this one as well because it is installed alongside with the wordpress when i was installing it so um let us see what we've got here at the editor tab okay so um let's us go back here and here we are then let me try to activate this one so um once you activate uh, a uh your team like that then you can just come over to your website and reload your website as well then the team that you install will be shown over here i'm sorry for all these you know it just maybe it's a matter of 
you know wordpress most of the time because most people use wordpress and then most of the time they have issues like that so um i'm going to try to reload it to see what we've got again okay as you can see now it brings something right over here okay i think it's now loading perfectly as you can see now uh, okay it brings something right over here as you can see this it brings this area where here, which means I can simply edit my website now and then that, that means I have my you know my uh dashboard logged in and then I have my website open as well then I can edit it easily so that is how you can just get yourself a website to to uh, you know to to known so um the second thing is this that how can you get yourself a website email how can you get yourself a website email if you try to come into this control panel now and then you scroll down to email over here the email account over here you came here and you click on webmail or you click on email account to get yourself a webmail or to get yourself an email account you will be asked to pay some money and remember i promise you that you won't have to pay anything in order to you know to get yourself a well -made. so what are you gonna do the first thing is necessary thing is for you to get yourself a domain and then we've gotten ourselves a domain a working domain that we install a wordpress into it and something like that so the nice thing now is for us to go over here now and get ourselves a website email so we're gonna do that with another website as well and that, free so that is what brings us to this freehostia.com on this freehostia.com as well you can get yourself a website but when i tried getting myself a website through this um sorry when i tried getting myself a website through this free hostia it doesn't work at all i think the website doesn't load and i couldn't see a uh, space for me to you know to install my wordpress or install or set up any platform for myself so just try to click on you know sign up for it <clears throat> as you can see now they have a webmail login as well that is if you have gotten your webmail before i have a webmail with them but i want to you know show you guys how it, it's done so then click on sign up for free so once you sign up for free everything over here is just free okay everything over here is free um so um as you can see they have a lot of domain that you can use if we can vividly look into this and uh, you can see something like you know the thing that we created over here i'm looking for something like this to understand i'm looking for this uh, name if you can see this name over here then you won't need to create another you know another free website over here again but if there isn't then you can do create it as well so um then over here then okay let's just try to just write something here then click on continue then the um uh, write something like this you have to make sure it's green like this so once it's green like this that means you can use that name for yourself then over here in the script over here make sure you choose wordpress there will be something like wordpress over here let us try it again so this is it wordpress no no that's not wordpress that is something else okay as you can see it has something like uh, magneto the uh, you know other stuff like that then you, you're gonna search for wordpress for yourself that is for those who know how to okay this is wordpress for me so i've chosen the wordpress now then i'm gonna click on continue which means i can now start to do it for myself then i'm gonna fill in my details let me try to pause this to make it quick so um currently i have filled in my details and i prove i'm not a robot and then sorry i forget to agree okay then i click on continue then over here now it will take me to um the website's dashboard as you can see anything is 0.0 dollar .0. do not you know do not try to pay anybody a dime so over here it said set your control panel password like, like i told you before we have a different password for everything because you're dealing with the website over here so let me choose my own control panel password and i set up the password i have the password i know the password don't forget your password okay so once the password has been set so as you can see here we have now 
it's automatically give me a username for you know because when i first get started with this stuff i made a mistake you know thinking what is my username i know my password but i don't know my username what's wrong then this is your username as you can see it will show you something like this that's your username it automatically generates the username for you so that isn't why it's really short and it is not something i would like to use if i if i, if, if I want to use my username you know my username will be my name maybe i porridge that is my own username but it automatically generates it for me and i have no choice so that is it so um let me save it to my browser so that i won't forgot so let me just cancel this so of course it says um there was a um you know a verification email sent into my mail so let me try to check my mail so uh i'm gonna check my mail for it and then i'm gonna verify it but most of the time when you try to verify it you might not see it in the first time you might need to click on recent verification email before you see the verification email being sent into your email so let me try to check that so um here it is and then i'm gonna click on this link now to make sure i verify it so okay the email address has been verified and i'm gonna close this then come over here again then so um i'm gonna click on email over here then the next thing we're gonna do is to set up ourselves the uh, website email so once you have uh once you're here to set it up you, as you can see we have mail we have mail web mail just like we have it over here if you don't forget just like we have it in the um in the control panel of the first one that we used to create a working website for ourselves then um <clears throat> i'm gonna click on the mail over here so um click on the mail like that then you see create a new email account so that's it you're gonna create yourself a new email account then it's gonna be something at your domain .com, like i showed you guys in my previous video go and check the video if you have not watched the video go and check the video so if you are still watching the video up to now please drop your time frame into the comment box section let me know you're still enjoying this and let me know what you've learned because you can't just waste this amount of time on my video and tell me you don't learn anything that will be a painful something to me so let me know what you've learned and let me know the time frame that you're still watching it up to now so over here this is the email i'm gonna choose something to uh to represent us like this maybe it is customer service at ipoge.com or service at apple.com or support at apple.com or info or contact something like that so i'm, I'm gonna type uh i'm gonna use contact at my own domain.com and then i have my password already don't forget the password that you wrote for yourself in the beginning that will be your or stop so let me, i can check it now that is my own password don't forget don't, don't worry i'll change my password so um let me try to change my password because i think i just exposed myself okay that is it so um then let us click on add the mailbox so um i have you know i have um created the uh mailbox now so the next now is for you to log in into your web mail itself okay so if you want to log into your web mail itself and then you know you're looking over here and then you couldn't see something like um uh, Logging the web mail because when I want to do that for myself, it take it took me some time, you know, to actually get out to log in my web mail, and then I couldn't even get it to be able to you know to log in my web mail. So you can just simply simply just copy the the link over here like this, then go over here, and then on the website again, you can see because even even or notice it says web mail login. So we have it over here, and then we are we are trying to log to log in our website email then uh, let me try to log in so the website email will be let's say it will be contact at iporridge.com and then the password that you choose so log in it and then most of the time you know it doesn't you know work like that so here we are now you see inside the web mail this is the web as you can see over here this is the web mail you know let me try to indicate it myself this is the you see this is the web mail we have the inbox draft sent junk just like your gmail exactly you see 
just like the gmail exactly and then you know to keep yourself up to date with this web mail you can link this web mail to your personal gmail account that you own so that maybe you know maybe you receive a message from your customers your friend inside the web mail and you don't you don't want your um you, you, don't, you don't want to miss it and you, you want to reply them on time you can just you know link it into your own personal gmail itself and then from there on you'll be able to you know to uh make, message them directly and then do all those sort of things that you like to do so guys i have come to the end of this video this is all i have to show you guys how you can get yourself a free website how you can get yourself a free web mail to create your own agency account watch my previous video you will see how i set up the ngc account for yourself and now we try to create a google my business for ourselves how, to, how we try to verify it with the agency account but you cannot do the agency account if you don't have something like this so that's why i took my time to do this you know to to do this to you guys and and and, and show it to you guys so please if you're still watching this video please do not forget to subscribe to this channel please like this video please drop your comments let me know that you gained something from this video please i am begging you please so thank you guys as, as i will see you in my next video till we meet have a nice day